Welcome to GSR 24, the Global Symposium for Regulators being held this year in Kampala in Uganda. And I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Ekaterina Midadze, who is the Commissioner for the Georgian National Communications Commission. Ekaterina, welcome to the studio. No stranger to ITU events. Hi, Max. Always a pleasure to be being hosted by you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's great to have you here. I wanted to ask you, what is the significance for you of this year's Global Symposium for Regulators? Yes, in general, the Global Symposium of Regulators is the major platform for us every year proposed by ITU to meet with industry, with other regulators, with policymakers, and this community is widening from year to year. Uh, this year, is uh, there, there are several new topics highlighted, most important topics highlighted, which is very much responding to the very fast-moving development of the industry. And we all agree that somehow technology is out pacing the development of policy and regulatory approaches. So now we are mostly discussing the artificial intelligence regulatory framework related topics, sustainable space, which is also another important topic also coming from the uh, last year's WRC, and international cooperation, of course, to join our efforts internationally because bridging the digital divide is not only in internally in countries but between the countries and globally. And of course we speak about the um, inclusion of course and there will be also session like in past years um, women in technology and which is going to be more and more important venue for the GSRs. How important are the best practice guidelines that are being uh, uh, launched here? Yes, and of course, uh, together with the, the topics we're discussing, uh, we are, as a, one of the results, uh, this venue is producing best practice guidelines. And I can speak a, a, a lot how important, in general, best practices uh, are for the countries, for example, like Georgia, the small country. Uh, because we need to take uh, as much uh, of uh, international um, experience as possible uh, due to limited resources, also due to the fact that we need to be harmonized with international global practices to hear on the large global venues like the GSREs from the industry. You cannot find this, uh, this kind of major a platform anywhere else where you can hear industry, where the topics are quite pressing, highlighting that, for example, regulators need to give, um, um, become more facilitators to open, to be more open for dialogues, to have these uh, regulatory practices more participatory and to hear from around the world what are the approaches in different countries. Also to understand that uh, though being the small country in a, a smaller, quite challenging region, but we share same challenges uh, all around the globe. Uh, respectively, the solutions might be also similar as other countries have. So these best practice guidelines are major framework and agreement, for example, in this case, how we agree to uh, support the innovative technologies. So because regulators somehow sometimes are considered uh, as some kind of showstoppers of innovation and we need to break this concept and um, let the world understand that we are also the facilitators, but we need to be kind of still keep being a watchdogs to um, protect the customer rights and to make sure that scarce resources are distributed equally. So there are a lot of different discussions on table. So this is the best uh, practice guidelines. Now it's about aligning, about joining efforts, about international cooperation and about inclusivity. Finally, as I mentioned before, you're no stranger to ITU events, you're a regular attendance. I just wanted to find out what you hope to take back from this particular event to Georgia. 
Yes, a uh, very important question. Uh, first of all, uh, for Georgia, it's important also to showcase ourselves on the big venues and tell that we are aligning our regulatory practices and we are open for different players, for big techs or uh, telecom players uh, to come and see the whether they can do the business in Georgia. And we are also, as regulator, facilitating this move. Also, what will be my uh, key takeaway that world uh, telecom world is very much looking into the sustainable space services, satellite services, which might be some kind of incentive for Georgia, for example. We have already SpaceX operating in Georgia and maybe other players will be willing to come. And what are other opportunities we might be focusing for the for the next year? Katerina Medadze, Commissioner for the Georgian National Communications Commission, thank you very much for joining us in the studio once more, and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much, Max. Thank Pleasure. You. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels, and for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.